Let's calculate cost of sales and the closing stock using weighted average method and probably we're going to be calculating um, your gross profit and preparing your trading account. Now this is the question that you're given. You are provided with information relating to quality building suppliers for April 2012. They buy boxes of um, floor tiles and sell them to retailers around HDVU. They use the weighted average method. for stock valuation and periodic inventory system. Basically here you cannot calculate cost of sales without closing stock. Closing stock will only be calculated when there is stock taking which happens after a certain period. In this case it seems like it happens after a month. We need to calculate the value of opening stock which is A. For you to calculate A you will just take tiles boxes of tiles on hand which is 600 and then you multiply um, that 600 by the value per unit which is 85 600 times 85 and for you to calculate B you're gonna take 960 which is the 25th of April 2012 you're gonna take that 160 multiplied by 120 whatever answer you get there you will add courage on purchases which is 5760 and that's how you will get B Boxes of damaged tiles returned to suppliers. These tiles were originally delivered on the 25th of April. So basically, the cost price of tiles on the 25th of April is 120. We also have courage on purchases, but I will encourage you guys when you calculate the cost price of goods returned to the supplier, only take the cost price per unit. Do not add courage on purchases because when you return goods to the supplier, there's no way you will recover transportation cost. That 5,760 was to transport 960 tiles, boxes of tiles. In this case, you just return 100. There's no way that you can get that back, which is 5,760. It's gone. You normally have it paid for cash, right? Now, in this case, the cost price of goods returned, which is um, boxes of damaged tiles you will simply uh, put 120 where there's that question mark 120 multiply by 100 it'll give you 12,000 rent which is the cost price of tiles returned you have sales for the month which is 2,590 boxes multiplied by 160 it'll give you a sales figure of 401,600 the problem is calculating the value of closing stock. Because we're using weighted average method, we need to first calculate the value of closing stock. Um, we need to first calculate the average price per unit before we can calculate the value of your closing stock. And this is how we go about it. Obviously, 600 times 85 is 51,960 times. It'll give that 120 plus 1960 will give you 35,000. That will be will be 120. And when you multiply these, two, That's all you need for you to calculate per unit. So you take um, Let me just that correct. Now you will simply take 51,000, add it with 335,160, and subtract 12,000. You will do the same thing in the denominator 600 plus your purchases of 3,160 minus. 100, which will give you 3660 if I'm not mistaken um, and it will give you your average cost per unit of 102,023 cents. Remember from the previous video I said you need to run that off so you will get 102,023 cents and when you multiply that will be your average price you're going to use to calculate the value of your closing stock so 102 2 and 23 multiplied by 1115 it will give you this 1, 
1.7565, which is the value of your closing stock. You have all the information you need now to calculate your cost of sales, and this is all we had to do. Now, to calculate your cost of sales, you're going to take your opening stock, add your purchases minus your returns, subtract the value of your closing stock, which is this 117,000. 165 and you will give your sales of 256,595. In your trading account, your trading account will look this way. You will have sales of 41,600 plus 117,565. It will give you 517,165 minus 51,000 minus 307,200. And you can add your courage on purchases of 15,960. Question is, how did we get that courage on purchases? Simply add 1,500 plus 1,700 plus 5,760. Obviously, from these amounts, all you have to do is subtract that courage, subtract that courage, and from this amount, will subtract that courage for you to get. That three or seven that I showed you now. I'll show you again to get this 319,200, and then you might get the 12,000, which are you use that were returned. It'll give you 307,200. And I did show you how to get that sum. So take this minus that, minus that, minus that, get this profit or loss, which is simply your gross profit of 145,000.